Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So I know Valentine's Day is approaching quickly and I wanted to share with you a really cool wall hanging that I uh, made. The pattern is called Love for All Wall Hanging. It's on Ravelry and it's by Susan E. Kennedy. Um, there have been many, many projects made with this. Um, let me see. On here, there's about 36 projects, but I'm sure there's more. Um, I had made this pattern a couple of years ago, and then I made it again in 2023. So I had a holiday market in December, and I made these for that event. Uh, they did not sell, so I still have them, and I want to share them with you. In case you're wondering, this is my beanie, the dreamy beanie hat. It's available on my channel. There's a full tutorial and it's also available on Ravelry as a written pattern. It's only $2. I'm wearing it in pink and this is the aqua ombre one that I made. All right. And the reason why I thought of my beanies, well, I wanted to be cozy today, but the reason I thought of my beanies is because I actually use the same yarn for the wall hangings that I want to show you. So um, I'm going to show, share with you the yarn that I've used and I'm also going to show you the finished product that I made. And give me one second, I'm just trying to fix something here, getting stuck. And um, I thought this was a really, really cool pattern. So you can find that on Ravelry again. It's called Love for All Wall Hanging by Susan E. Kennedy. All right, so. Sorry, I'm just, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready, okay. So I made two and I'm gonna show them to you. There they are. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm gonna show them to you up close. I have hung it on a dowel, which I just purchased, I think off of Amazon. And I'm using two colors. I'm using the solid white and then I'm using this color changing pink ombre this is big twist value by joanne in pink ombre that's what it looks like up close you can see the colors changing and because uh this pattern didn't use that much yarn there's just a little bit of difference up here and a little bit of difference in the bottom otherwise the entire heart is almost the same color so um I made this whole piece and then I added the fringe afterwards. That's part of the pattern as well. That was very easy to do. And then I followed the pattern's instructions on how to attach it to the dowel. That was also very easy. This was a really wonderful project to work on. And that is the pink ombre. This is using, um, I think it's just single crochets if I'm not mistaken. So that's the pink one and this is the blue ombre up close. So this also didn't um, change any color. This is the aqua ombre by Big Twist Value aqua ombre. That's what it looks like. It's showing up more blue on the screen but it's a little bit, um, it is blue. It's more aqua. So this is, looks like a very rich blue. It's more, it's a little bit greener than that. Let me see if I can adjust my light. One second. No. Uh, no, not really. It's not being, it's not able to pick it up exactly, but they're both made with the exact same pattern. And I would say if you sat down to make them, um, in one go, I'd say it might take you less than two hours for sure. Um, I really enjoyed working on this project and I'm sharing it so you could make it into a wall hanging. Um, if you just want to use a part of the pattern and you don't want to hang it, then you could definitely make two squares and you could make it into a pillow. You could make one square like this and one square um, just solid color and you could stitch it together and make put stuffing and make your own pillow um, you could attach it to an existing pillow make it that size and it's a really really wonderful pattern so that is available on Ravelry 
I will be putting a link down below in the description, so check that out for sure. Um, and I just wanted to share these two projects because I really loved making them. Um, I've made it in the past as well, and I've gifted it to, um, I think my sister has them in Canada. So that is the project that I wanted to share with you today. It's really beautiful. It's really fast. And this would be a wonderful gift, I think. So these were the two colors that I chose, but honestly, you could choose any colors. Um, some of the pictures on the projects page have uh, variegated yarns. So really those busy yarns you could use for the heart because it would really pop and stand out. Um, the white that I used is also Big Twist. It's just in Big Twist white. So I wanted to share those with you today. Um, these are like different types of projects, okay? So there's so many things you can do with crocheting. So crocheting, um, this is this is classified on Ravelry as a decorative wall hanging. So um, that's exactly what it is. It's a decorative wall hanging. And that's the thing. Crochet is so versatile that you can make literally anything with it. Like I have made pet beds. I have made mandalas. I have made wall hangings. I have made blankets. I have made hats. Um, I have made purses and I've made wands. I've made all sorts of hats. Like the list is just endless. So, you know, get on YouTube, get on Ravelry. Um, one really cool feature on Ravelry is that you can search by yarn. So say you have this big twist value in pink ombre and you were wondering what can you make with it? Well, go online, go on to Ravelry, click on this specific yarn. You can click on this specific color and people have put things in their projects page and you can see what they're making. This is why I really um, encourage you all to update your projects page on Ravelry if you do have an account um, because I find it just so helpful. Like it's one place where I have all of my projects written. Of course, as I mentioned before, I do have a separate document um, where I kind of keep track of my works in progress and I keep track of what I finished in what month. That is separate, but my Ravelry projects page, I um, I try to list everything in there. So you might even see some new items in there and I haven't even put a picture yet, but I've already created the project. Or you might be looking for my beanies that I just showed a picture of. Well, click on chemo caps or click on preemie caps, click on cancer caps and you'll see it in my projects page. Um, I really like having that one place where I can just go back and I could scroll through and I could show people what I've made. Um, this beanie is such a fun one to make as well. You can totally just follow along with the tutorial and it'll be done in less than an hour. Um, because I donate so many hats um, to cancer patients and to the hospital, I'm so happy that I have this pattern and I can just pump them out. So this hat is made with this exact same yarn right here, big twist value. And this is the number four worsted weight yarn. Um, so I have made a lot of hats in like a bulky five or six weight, but I've also created and designed this hat to be made in a worsted weight, which this is. Um, it's really warm and wonderful. And I mean, my ears are a little open, but I don't mind because my hair is there. So I don't think I've even talked about th this hat in any other video. I just have a tutorial up. So in case you haven't seen my tutorial, definitely head over to my channel, click on videos. You can also click on playlists. I have a playlist for tutorials. So there might only be a couple right now, but I'm planning on making many, many more things. Um, I'm planning on designing more items. Uh, as you may know, there are a lot of steps involved before a pattern can go live. So there is, um, I like to write my patterns as well. So there'll be pattern writing, there'll be pattern testing. So I'll have other crocheters um, volunteer their time to test a pattern for me. Um, and if you do see one of those posts in my community tab, that's what it means. I would like people to, I'd like to have more eyes on my work um, so that people can give suggestions, people can give feedback, they can share their pictures and they can share my work with their, um, on their platform with their um, 
viewers. So it's a really wonderful process of being a designer. And I think it's so rewarding to see someone else making what you've designed. It's just the best feeling. So um, this year has started off with a bang. I had my first pattern for this. Um, I believe it went live on January 18th and that video is doing really well. Um, I also have that available as a written pattern on Ravelry, so you can definitely grab that. All the links are down below in the description box. Make sure you click on that for every video. Um, everything is there, all the information you need. So aside from YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, um, and I post there every so often, but I'm actually more active here on YouTube and I try to post something almost every day in the community tab just so you know what's happening in my crochet world. Um, it's getting to a point where hopefully I still get to sleep. Um, I know there are a lot of YouTubers who just get, you know, really inspired and really creative and, you know, they don't sleep much. But I, I'm still momming. I'm still taking care of the house. And um, I'm running this as my um, side project. So hopefully I can still get some sleep. So far it's been good. Um, I have designed so far this hat and I've designed a mandala. Um, I also did make a design which was, I extended a t-shirt. So I had a t-shirt and I created an extension. So it's like a panel maybe this wide and it went all around the bottom of the t-shirt. I'll see if I can find a picture of that and I'll pop it in here so you can see that. That was probably one of the very first things that I designed. And the design that I put on the bottom of that t-shirt is actually what I adapted to make my first mandala. I got my ideas from there. So um, I know there may be a lot of you who are wondering how to design your own pattern, how to, um, go about having something of your own. And honestly, I would just recommend playing around, letting yourself be creative, um, giving yourself some time. Of course, it's wonderful to have inspiration. It's wonderful to see other people's work. Um, but, you know, just gravitate towards whatever piques your interest. So if you like wearables or you like more decorative items, if you like cotton yarn, whatever it is that you love, just um, go in that direction and there's plenty. There's definitely plenty. Um, I just got my favorite piece of mail, which is my Hirschner's catalog. This is my Hirschner's catalog. <laughs> and um, they always give some sort of deal on, on shipping, flat rate shipping. Um, but it's just so fun to like go through this catalog and see all the... Um, different yarns like for example this hips premier hipster cotton i did buy this and i bought um i bought it in the color i want to say rainbow roller skates okay and i cannot find the picture that i saved which was my inspiration so now <laughs> i'm pretty sure that picture was um i feel like it was a mandala that became into a blanket or something like that and I feel like it was one of the patterns by Vanessa Smith over at Hooked on Sunshine. So I'm going to go back and try and find what that picture was. But that's just an example for you. You know, I don't really work with cotton, but I saw that cotton and I had to buy it. And I was so inspired by that picture that I saw. So I think I have bought five or six balls of that and I'm really excited to use it. So the other thing um, as a designer is that it's very helpful to have um, solid colors of yarn, of skeins. And because Joann's was having such an amazing sale on Lion Brand Mandela yarn, I ended up buying a whole bunch. Um, I think it was on sale for like $4.99 and the regular price is something like $8.99. So I have a whole bunch of that in my stash now. And I'm trying to figure out projects. So if I also so I have line brand mandala, I have line brand mandala ombre, I have line brand mandala bonus bundles. So if you have any familiarity with line brand mandala yarn, definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you've made with it. I love the feel of the yarn. I love the colors of the yarn. I'm just kind of uh, 
confused as to what can I make with all of those. In the past, I've made blankets, I've made um, mandalas, but the thing with mandalas is I like to control the colors usually, so I wouldn't use those color changing yarns. Um, Line Brand Mandala definitely has color changing, but it's a gradual, long color change. So it's not something immediate. Um, so I am thinking about that and how to use that. Um, I just wanted to touch on the point which was made by another crocheter about separating, you know, if you're doing this as a business, um, about separating your personal time from the business time. And um, that kind of goes for me too. So the time that I spend on designing things, making things, working on social media, all of that behind the scenes admin work um, is a big part of my day. But then I also want to just crochet because I love crocheting. So um, I have my own projects going on. I have other projects which are just fun things for me. And I'm actually working on more donations. So I am working on getting out donations for babies in the hospital and in the NICU. Um, so I have a few blankets and then I have a whole bunch of baby hats. So I'm working on that right now. After that, um, I've already started some shawls, which I would like to donate. So I have already, I think, four shawls and I'm working on two more. So um, at some point I will share those with you, hopefully. And maybe even in this video, I'm not sure. But I'm just so excited about that. Like I have bought yarn that I love and I think that's what's most important is just buying yarn that you love because then you know you're going to use it. So I don't really gravitate towards buying um, solid colors of yarn in bulk. Um, I go with what, you know, piques my interest with what uh, catches my eye. So, um, so yeah, it's just trying to find that time to do the crocheting without feeling pressured by the crocheting. So another thing that I'm doing is trying to um, pre-record some videos when I have some downtime just so that I have the content ready because it's it's not always easy to record something on the day of. So um, I definitely want to try and post two videos per week and I think I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm also going to have a tutorial here or there and um, just keep watching. There's lots and lots of fun stuff coming up on my channel. Let me know if you love beanies, if you love the mandalas, what do you love on my channel? And I definitely want to make more of that and bring more of that to you. If you've made it this far in the video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful crochet full day and I'll see you again soon.